Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Radash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this word in all truth and sincerity. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Uh, salutations to the Akiam out there on the highways and the byways, edifying the sheep, uh, sealing 144 elect, and that's out there using their bodies as a, a living sacrifice to get us out of this wicked kingdom. Uh, so a strong shalom to the aqua of sitting and listening, sitting and listening as the scriptures say to do so. This is your brother, Amoth, your eyes from your coming at y'all with another spiritual meditating lesson. Just basically uh, various precepts to just uh, certify and qualify and acknowledge that the kingdom and salvation is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Salvation is only for Israel. Okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this lesson. We're going to uh we're going to go to Let's go to Amos. Let's go to Amos chapter 3 and verse 1 and it reads this. Hear this word that the Lord Jehovah have spoken against you. O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities and that's plain and simple man if you love your child play a well, good example right here if you got if you got your if you got your kids at the house and they got a few friends over the, at the house and they jack up the house you're not going to chastise anybody else's kids you're going to chastise your own kid and obviously if you're going to correct your child and chastise them that means you love them you know if you don't if you don't correct them and chastise them you know what i'm saying obviously you don't love your kid you don't care of his outcome you're not saving him to to to, to uh be be put in hell plain and simple man okay the next one is going to be deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and it reads this and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God Jehovah to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God Jehovah will set thee on high above all nations of the earth not just one above all nations of the earth that means the so-called Chinese man the so-called Japanese man the so-called uh, Arab man, the so-called uh, East Indian man, all of them, above all nations, man. There's no way around this, man. Okay, there's no way around this, man. Salvation is only for Israel, man. Let's let's keep it let's keep it moving. Let's go to Salakia. Let's go to. Go to First Samuel, and we're going to go to chapter twelve, and we're going to read verse twenty-two, and it reads this: "For the Lord Yahweh will not forsake His people for His great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord Yahweh to make you His people." Man, let's read that again, man. First Samuel twenty-two, so like it. First Samuel. Chapter 12, verse 22. For the Lord Yahweh will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord Yahweh to make you his people. Man, what what more? Man, we can we can just close the book right here. But now that's not talking about it. That's not talking about Israel, brother. That's talking about everybody. God loves everybody. Okay. Okay, I got I got I got some more precepts for, for God love everybody. Well, we're going to see if God loves everybody and if, and if salvation is for everybody. As, as y'all sweet Jesus lovers say. Not my sweet Jesus. He loves everybody. You can be a pedophile, a rapist, a murderer. He still loves you. 
You can be out here looking for Rod as a man, sleeping with the same sex. You can out here be out here doing scissors with the same with the with the with the with the sisters and sisters doing scissors together. But God loves everybody, man. Y'all crazy, man. And God got and yeah, how about Hashem Yahawashah got a plan for that, man. For y'all simpletons, man. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Salakia. So Make sure I'm on the right one here. Uh, is this the right one? This gotta be it. Hold on. Salakia, so bear with me one second, Israel. Yeah, this should be the right one. Oh, Slock, I wrote down the wrong daggone one. It's supposed to be. All right, well, here it is. I got it right here. It's uh, 2 Samuel. Uh, this is going to be chapter 7, and this is going to be verse, verse 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10, and it reads this. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people, Israel, and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. Man, let's read that again, man. God, man, let's read. Y'all, how about Hashem Yahweh Shah, man? Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 10, man, and it reads this. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither, neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before times. Has that come, has that come to pass yet? Has that come to pass yet? I don't think so. Just like, just like that Bama, just like that Bama, uh, off in living, in living color. What's his name? Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the Damian uh, Wayne's played him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, homie the clown. Yeah. Homie don't play that man. <laughs> Inside joke, man. Homie don't play that man. Ain't no way, ain't no way around this man. There's no way around it. The Bible, uh, the scriptures is for Israel, man. Plain and simple. All right, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and hit another chapter. Let's go to... <laughs> Salaki. Let's go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms chapter 22, and we're going to read verse 23, and it reads this. Ye that fear the Lord Jehovah, praise him, all ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. Oh, you didn't hear what I said? Let me, let me read that again for you. Psalms 22, verse 23, and it reads this. Ye that fear the Lord Jehovah, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. Okay. You got it? Do you Did, did you get it? Okay, you didn't get it? Let's, let's go to something else. Since you, want, since you want to act like you didn't hear that. Let's go to Psalms 33, verse 12, and it reads this. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, Yahweh, and the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. Also, oh, there, so you, there isn't a chosen people. All these scriptures I didn't, I didn't brought out. Uh, Second Samuel, uh, chapter seven, nine. Uh, 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 sorry, so it's like it's Second Samuel seven and uh, verse ten. Okay, we're we gonna we gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Let's go to Psalms, chapter forty-seven, and we're going to read verses. Three and four, starting at three, and it reads this: He shall subdue the people under us, and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Salah. Let's read that again. Psalms forty-seven, 
starting at verse three. And it reads this. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Salah. I get it. Do you get it? I guess all, all news ain't good news to everybody. If you ain't if you ain't part of Israel, man, then this is bad news for you, Playboy. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 50, verse 7, and it reads this. Hear, O my people. Hear, O my people. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel. And I will testify against thee. I am the God, even thy God, Yahweh. Psalms 50, verse 7. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God, Yahweh. Now, he's basically... And in, in this verse, the reason why I brought this verse out is because he's basically saying that he's about to punish us for something. Read that chapter and you'll figure it out. OK, let's go to. Let's go to. Let's go to Psalms. Chapter 78. And we're going to start at verse five and it reads this. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in Yahweh. And not forget the works of Yahweh, but keep his commandments. I'm not even going to speak on it, man. I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it moving like a train, man. I'm just going to keep it moving like a train, man. Just going to keep it moving, man. Psalms 147 verse 19. And it reads this. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Psalms 147 verse 19. And it reads this. He say he showeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it moving like a, like a criminal want to run from the police, man. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it chucking, man. Let's keep it going. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. This is going to be Daniel chapter 7. And we're going to read verse 27. Daniel chapter 7, verse 27. And it reads this. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Whom, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Who is the most highest people, the most highest children? If you study and show yourself approved, you should know that. Okay, now let's go to. Let's go to Hosea. Chapter one, verse 10, and it reads this. Yet the number of the children of Israel, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured 
nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Ye are the sons of the living God. Now, obviously, we in captivity and it's been said that we ain't nothing with Gentiles. And now the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah has awoken us and given us uh, 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 God fearing men, his, 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 his prophets to open up the minds and to re-cleanse us with the word. To let us know who we are so we can establish the kingdom and so everything can come to pass, man. You have to read the study to show yourself approved, man. You got to, man. You got to be sincere about this, man. Okay? So let's go to... Let's, let's keep it moving like a criminal running from the police, man. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Joel chapter 2. And let's go to verse 27. And it reads this. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God, Yahweh, and none else. And my people, my people shall never be ashamed. Con, that's right, man. That's right, con. Let's keep on let's let's keep it moving like a like a criminal running from the police, man. Let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. Let's 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 hit up Romans real quick. Let's go to Romans. And let's go to chapter nine. And we're going to start at let's start at verse two. And it reads this, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself was a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. And the service of Yahweh and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. There is no way getting around that. You know why? You know why I brought Paul out? Because you got these bugged out Christians Baptist, you know, Lutheran, whatever. It's all the same, same daggone thing under, under Roman uh, authority. They like to use Paul to get their point across. Okay, well, Paul said this. And Paul also said this too right here. I'm not, let me, let me, just, I, this wasn't part of the lesson. But let me bring this out too, just to clarify who Paul was. Uh, this is Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, have Yahweh cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. And matter of fact, let's let's read the first the first line where he said, I say then, have Yahweh cast away his people? Yahweh forbid. Israel has never been cast out. We just been punished. Point blank period. We just been punished, man. Now let's 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 get the let's get the uh let's get the uppercut, man. Let's get the uppercut real quick. How many uh how, how many gates is that is that the uh is, is that the kingdom of heaven uh, uh people? Is it is it one gate? Is it twenty? Is it eighteen? Man, you know what? Let's stop going off our own vain vain opinion and let's find out. Let's go to Revelations chapter twenty one verse twelve and it reads this: and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the twelve gates, Salaki. Let's start that again. Romans twenty one verse twelve, and it reads this: and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the twelve gates, twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Look, man, there's no way around it. Point blank period. Salvation is for the 12 tribes of Yasharala. We got next and the kingdom is going to be forever and forever and even forever. Point blank period. 
So Lord willing, this was edifying. And Lord willing, you meditate on these scriptures and keep these in your mind at all times. And, and don't let none of these heathens tell you otherwise. We should obey. Matter of fact, I ain't going to say it. I'm just going to bring it out. I ain't going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Let me get to it real quick. Acts chapter 5 and uh, verse 29. Then Peter, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to, ought to obey Yahweh rather than man. P point blank period, man. Don't go off of what man says. You go off what the Holy Scripture says. So like I said, Lord willing, somebody was edified from this. And uh, Lord willing, I'll be able to come back with another edifying lesson. But other than that, call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Wa, Abab, Abal. Lord willing, on to the next one. Shalom.